everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm here in Goose Bay with Team 5, Goose Bay Ghost Riders. And I'm going to ask them a few questions and take advantage of my time in Goose Bay for Expo. All right. Uh, George, what did you find the most challenging in your experience racing in Canes? You know, all the previous races, you mean? Like, uh, yeah. After a long, hard day of, of uh, sweating and like warmer temperature during the daytime, uh, your body trying to adjust to freezing cold temperatures 3 a.m. in the morning when your, your clothes are soaking wet and your mitts are wet. And that's probably the, the hardest challenge of, of dealing with the temperature wars of the race itself. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's millions of challenges in the race, so. Well, that's probably the toughest for the body to, you know, to change from that warm temperature daytime to the extreme cold temperature nighttime. That's probably the toughest. Mm -hmm. If you have any advice to give to your fellow teammate or to any other rookie teams, what would that advice be? Well, I call them a rookie uh, racer, but yeah. not a rookie snowmobiler, you know. So, obviously, the, the race itself, getting prepared for the race is a hell of a lot to do with your mental capability plus your machine. The machine got to be top notch, fully, you know, fully made for uh, extreme conditions, hard trail riding and, you know, extreme temperatures both ways. Uh, your suspension has got to be top notch. Mm -hmm. and, and prepare your, your body for those kind of differences in, in the temperatures is a big thing, you know, and the endurance part of it is, you may go at, I think at one time, our longest, uh, run was 52 hours straight. Wow. So you so, didn't sleep? <coughs> no, no sleep. No sleep for 52 hours. We rested at a, at a camp. I'm not quite sure the camp. Rob would know the, the camp that was in, in between uh, Chassis Lake and Twin, somewhere in that vicinity in there. Shemp we rested door. there for, yeah, Shemp, yeah. Shemp door. Yeah, that door. And we rested there for a little bit, but it was obviously not uh, not enough, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, that that's the, uh, that's the hardest, you know, uh, you know, for a rookie team, they're not aware of that kind of riding, you know, to ride 20 hours is one thing, to ride 30 hours when you think you're going 100 miles an hour and you're only going 10, you know, so your mm -hmm. mind is not, well, prepare for that, you know, make some long runs, you know, like some, some, you know, 15, 20 hour runs and, and then turn around and come back. You know? Chris, what are you most excited about? I said a start line for Chris. Start line or get something out of the bucket list. And well, yeah. You know, for him, it's going to be his first race, so he's going to be totally enjoying the start line and the start of the race. The excitement level that he's going to feel at the start of it, he can't even he can't even imagine it now. And all in between. And when you when you get there, and you know, like the preparation part of it is like we're going to be okay with that because you know we, you know he's good mechanical uh, skills, so. That's not going to be an issue, but that excitement of those 50 teams lining up and you know, you know proceeding to the start line two minutes at a time. It's exciting. Wait, wait for that. You know that's going to be that's going to be awesome. And then when you take off, you know I can I can give you a couple stories in regards to that. You know, I, I made a couple fools of myself. So, you know. George, what is your favorite CQ memory? Uh, from the from the first race on, you mean? There was just tremendous amount of, but probably the. One I remember the most is, is Witch Doctor Lake uh, at, say, 2 o'clock in the morning when pretty near every team that was in the race ended up in one chalet at Witch Doctor Lake, probably 45 below zero, extremely cold, and everybody was just almost done with the race. We were at it. That was the year that we ran from Lansa Claire all the way up the coast into North River and then left Nussels River and came on, supposedly to go up the coast to Postville and other. It was extremely long. <laughs> we all ran out of steam. Every racer ran out of steam, and we all huddled together in that chalet. And as it happened, the Canadian Rangers were also there, and the Canadian Armed Forces were also there. So the you know the amount of people was in that one spot was tremendous. But they let us huddle into that chalet, and everybody was sleeping behind the stoves, under the under the tables. You couldn't find a spot anywhere. Mm -hmm. and I, I remember that quite quite vividly. That was, you know, that, that sticks out my mind all the time. There's lots of other ones. Believe me, there's a tremendous many. So. Chris, what was the reason that made you want to race in Kane's Quest this year? 
<laughs> Pure pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Did George pair press again? Uh, him and the line, a few other fellas. The way it transpired for us is like he, uh, in the last race, <laughs> I didn't race the last race, but I wanted to really bad. But I told everybody the only one I'll ever race with again would be Chris. You Whatever. must have some skills. You got a few. Yeah. You got a few. Yeah. So, so, you know. so anyway, he wouldn't go. No way in the world. We couldn't convince him to go, so therefore I didn't go. So in this time here, we got together on a Friday night, and as it happened, you don't want to know how it happened. Because <laughs> we were having a few drinks and talking about it, and you guys had registered 47 teams. Mm -hmm. There yeah. was three spots left. Yeah. So I looked at it and I said, you've got very little time to make me mine here, you know? And so what okay. did he say? He said, yeah. He said, hell with this, uh, okay, but where's the money gonna come from? And then we <laughs> looked at each other and made a couple of calls, and. Bang, just like that. Next morning, nine o'clock, we were registered. So. Yeah. Perfect. That's, that, that's exactly how it happened, too. But if that, if Lambs wasn't involved, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> if Lambs wasn't involved, we wouldn't have been registered. So. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for meeting with us and hearing this interview. Yeah. We really appreciate it. We'll see you on the start line. Yes. For yes. sure.